So what's all this I hear about the inventor of mRNA vaccines saying that the spike protein is toxic and that the COVID vaccines are dangerous? Well, here's the deal. This guy, Robert Malone, didn't invent mRNA vaccines. In the 80s, he co-authored papers that helped build the technology that would eventually be used in mRNA vaccines. But saying that he invented the mRNA vaccine is like saying that Thomas Edison invented LED lights because he invented the light bulb. But then he goes on this podcast and talks about how spike proteins are cytotoxic and thus shouldn't be given in COVID vaccines. The evidence for this lies in studies where researchers injected animals with large amounts of pure spike protein. This is obviously really different from a vaccine, which gives you an ultimately much lower dose of spike protein and it gives it to you in the muscle, not intravenously like these researchers did to these animals. The researchers found that this toxicity is mediated by spike protein binding to a target called ACE2 that is expressed in a lot of our cells. What Malone and the podcast host doesn't seem to realize is that researchers were aware of this possibility when designing the COVID vaccines, which is why they tweaked the spike protein to lock it in what we call a pre-fusion confirmation. And this pre-fusion confirmation doesn't bind to ACE2 very well. This applies to the Moderna, Pfizer, J&J, &J, and Novavax vaccines. This kind of ruins the idea that this protein is cytotoxic, along with the dosage and the delivery methods that I just described. So next time you hear someone say something like this in a podcast, try to make sure that it's validated by the scientific community, including good scientific sources and scientists themselves. If it's not, then don't let it scare you.